<laughs> Damn it! It was a big one! <laughs> Ow! to another episode of Angry Mac Adventures. Now today we're in the inlet and we're actually chasing blue swimmer crabs. And I got a little surprise for you at the end, so stay tuned. We're just using standard crab pots and today's bait is chicken necks. The crabs absolutely adore these. Now the chicken necks have this hole through their bone and we just push that through so the crabs don't rip the meat off. All right, that one's done. Now, the new Australia, West Australian rules are we're only allowed 10 per person and only to take five females. Now, I don't tend to take the females because they're the breeders. So, 10 per person um, with a maximum of 20 per boat. And also in your Swan River and your Canning River and a few other places, you can only catch five per person. So make sure you check your regulations before you go crabby. Crab pots are set, ready to go. One at a time. Let's do it, see ya. So we'll just wait about 10 minutes or so, then we'll start at the first one and make our way up. Absolute beautiful day on the water. I think we're gonna have a 31 degree day. There's not an absolute cloud in the sky. There's a bird though. Hey Seagull. First pot for 2019 crab season, let's do it. Yep. Little baby. Say hello. Hey. Oh my god, he's just off. He's small. I thought he was sized. See you, mate. Nah, it's a little small one. Alrighty. Too small. It's a bit small, but it's a female, and as you can tell, it's a, it's a lot more round here. When we get a male, I'll show you the difference, and it's also a lot more brown, so she's going back in the drink. Go make some babies. All right, first run, there was a few small ones, so we'll give them another 10 minutes and go again, see how we go. Oh, oh. he's nice size. Oh, hey, we got a size crab. Woohoo! All right, so. Checking the crab with your crab gauge, it's tip to tip. So you got these two little tips on the crabs. All right, tip one, if it fits inside, it's no good. If it doesn't, it's size. So, first crab for the day. That's awesome. Oh, hey, look at this one. Look at that. All right. So the males tend to be a lot more blue and they have the triangle on the back. That's how it determines the males. Well done, another size one. Look at that. That's awesome. Oh, look at him. Beautiful. Ah, another one. Just make, make sure he's sized. Yep. 
Beautiful. Another one. I'll tell you what, you get a workout pulling these things in all that. Yeah. Oh, damn it! That was a big one! Ow! That hurt my foot! That was a big one too! Tripped on the floor there. Now I've got a sore foot, but that's alright. Alright, left hand turn. <laughs> Let's not do that again. Link on the side of the pot. He wasn't in properly, so I tried throwing it up, but that's alright. Oh, look at the size of him! Oh, crabs are starting to come out now. Yep. Lovely. Another one. Out the pots now. We've got our five, which is pretty much what we wanted to, to have a nice catch with hook on the boat. So we'll pull them in. Go to a nice beautiful bay and uh, have some lunch. Oh, how nice is this? Well, we managed to get a couple and the surprise. We got ourselves a portable gas stove. So we just pulled up into this little bay. It's absolutely glassy here. And we're gonna cook up some beautiful chili garlic butter crabs. Two gas stoves, they're about $30 from Anaconda. And you get these little uh, gas, gas bottles, gas cartridges. And they just pretty much run on these little bottle on the side here. All right, so we got ourselves five crabs. It's all we need for us two today. So I'll show you guys how we clean them. So we pretty much just grab the leg and pull this tab open on the back. Rip the shell off. And we just take the, the eyes off and these sides here. Then we just get as much of the gut as we can out as possible. Then what I tend to do is I'll just flick on the wash deck Give it a bit of a, a bit of a clean inside with salt water. Once that's nice and clean, we just crack it in half, ready to eat. Beautiful. Got some garlic butter spread, and um, we just got this from Woolworths, so throw a bit of this on. And we're just gonna paste it inside the crab, like that. Cardi ball is done. I'm just gonna lightly salt them. Bit of pepper. And chili flakes. Is this coming out? Oh, yeah, this way, sorry. And just a drizzle of olive oil. And that is ready for the gas stove. Done. See you soon. So it should be a couple of minutes on each side. They'll actually start turning red when they're cooked. So you'll know straight away. Just those smell, oh my God, amazing. Now that is some beautiful chili garlic butter blue swimmer crabs. Oh, sensational. Now, the taste test. Oh. So good. Mm. Well, what a way to start the crab season. Now, that's it for another episode. Like and smash that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one.